Hi guys, it's Nancy and I got a surprise package in the mail. So this came from Pink and Maine. Beautiful card from the owner, Michelle. Love that. Summer vibes, rainbow foil. This is the rainbow stripes. Um, beautiful card. Beautiful with their ribbon and their pattern paper. What a nice way to tie it all together. But she says in the note that this is the August foil kit of the month. So I haven't opened it yet, so let's open it together. The foil you get is orange cheer, sparkle orange cheer foil, which is orange stars. Perfect. Let's open this up. Cute little wrapping. I always love when packages come like cute wrappings and, you know, it just, I don't know, it makes it more special. Okay, it looks like we have some fall themed foilables. So the foilables kit is called Fabulous Fall Foilable Kit. Let's open it up. All of your instructions are on the back. You want to keep this storage bag so that um, everything can be kept in here dust free. And this is nice because you can make a couple different sizes. Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes, Happy Harvest, Autumn is my favorite color, yes, Hello Fall, Autumn Blessings, Hello Autumn, Hello Fall, we have some pumpkins, Fall, ooh, I love this, Give Thanks, then we have some backgrounds, so again, these backgrounds, you can cut them and make them A2 size, you can get two cards out of them, if you're somebody who likes to make larger cards, you can cut this down and make it a 5 by 7 card, so you get two of these open leaves, which you can color. You can color these with watercolor markers or Copic markers or ink blend over them. Oh, my pumpkins are so cute. Two big sheets of solid pumpkins. These are going to look fabulous with this foil. I love it. And then some kind of some greenery. So you get six background sheets and two sheets of sentiments. Yes, you can use these with a laminator. Just let your laminator heat up for 30 minutes. And then we have sentiments, fall sentiments, this is called. And this is cool. This is the um, printed part. So you get, looks like four pages. Yeah, so you get eight sheets. That's a lot of sentiments, you guys. Two different sentiment, two different styles of font. Happy fall, y'all. Autumn greetings. Thankful for our friendship. Hello. Warm wishes. Enjoy the colors of fall. Autumn blessings. Happy harvest. Thinking of you. Wishing you well. Hello, fall. Hello, autumn. Thanks. Cozy greetings. Grateful for you. And then these are the same greetings, but they're scripty. And then these are the reverse. So you get the reverse printed and the reverse scripty. And you can just thin line cut these. I mean, you could certainly use these as your background too. Um, but that's a lot of sentiments. That's pretty cool. You can make a lot of cards out of this. All right, so let's foil and uh, let's see if I can come up with something here. Um, I'm just going to use... The one roll of foil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to challenge myself. I'll bring some markers in, I think. But let's just do one roll of foil. Shall we try that? All right. So I'm gonna cut this down to uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. So we have a two size. Okay, and I do like this sentiment. Ooh, that might be too big for that. Okay, that's going to be a little too big. I'm going to... Let me circle die cut this. I have some die cuts. We'll see here. Um, we'll do that. And then we'll also... We'll add one of these on the inside. So these are really easy. You just line it up and cut it. Actually, let me grab my... My other trimmer, I think I can get better results. There we go. I can see right on the line there. And this is the reverse. So everything that is in black will foil and the white will not foil. Okay, so we got those. We got these. Let's get to foiling. I'm going to use my 
beautiful hot pink mink from Pink and Main. Got my little dusty, dusty reminder there, and I have it on setting three. Now, if you are interested in these foiling products, they have beautiful textile foils over at Pink and Main and these beautiful, all different kinds of foilables that you can foil. Go check them out at Pink and Main. And of course, the Pink Mink. I'll put the link down below for you guys. And this is their monthly kit that they just started. I think it is a great value if you are somebody who is just um, starting out with foil or somebody who just really enjoy, enjoys foiling. You're gonna get these um, foilable kits every month. You can sign up. And I believe they um, show the new foils that they add to their line on the 20th. Now, this color is not going to be in the shop until a few weeks later. So they give it to exclusively to the foiling kit first. And then it will be added into the shop. Ooh, I just saw a big chunk of dust on there. I think it's glitter. And we dusty, dusty because dust leaves little black spots. And we don't want that. And I'm going to grab my mink cover sheet here. If you are using a laminator, just let your laminator heat up for about 30 minutes. Now, I did cut a little bit bigger because this was the end of the roll. So I'm going to cut that off and we'll use that for the sentiment. Okay, and I like to feed this in vertically. So up and down. So folded side always goes in first. If you feed it in horizontally like this, what happens is the rollers heat up and start pressing that toner into the foil and it might cause air pockets. So by doing it this way, it's less surface area getting stuck down at a time. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna use this whole piece of foil. We'll do both of these sentiments. So we also wanna dusty dusty these off and these are just so it's just a soft makeup brush you could also use like a microfiber towel or sponge but keep it dedicated just to foiling And just let it do its thing and then also let it um, cool down before you reveal it. So this is done. Now, if you're using Big Mama Mink, which is the large one, I don't really recommend the big one because for what we're doing, especially for card makers, you don't really need the big one. It's a little bit more expensive. It's heavier. It takes up more space. Um, but if you are using Big Mama Mink, you might want to go up a notch in your heat. I noticed that the smaller minks are much hotter. And I think my, the newer minks, I have an older mink, this gets hotter faster. And I think it um, gets hotter than my older mink. So probably because it's newer. Um, but Big Mama Mink, in fact, I need to make a little reminder to myself. I'm going to write it down right now. I'm going to make a sticker that says four on mama mink because I always need it's a little bit behind on the heat so I'm going to make a little reminder like I have dusty dusty here I'm going to make this little reminder and stick it on my my big mama mink but I don't really use the big one that often unless you're doing full sheets of foiling I don't really see the need for it okay I'm just looking for some scraps of colored paper here that we can use to mat this. I'm just letting this cool down. Nope, that's not big enough. If I do orange on orange, is that too much orange? Yeah, I should probably do a green, right? Well, I do have green. Hold, please. <laughs> you know when you have too much paper and you can't decide which one you want? That's where I'm at right now. All right. Okay, 
So then let's move this out of the way. I know you guys are anxious and saying, just show us the foil. We're not there yet. I'm going to cut this to five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we'll mat our um, panel on top of there. I have a card base here. Perfect. Here's the reveal. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? It is perfectly foiled. Oh my gosh, look at all that glitter. And remember, we can use these on the pink and main toner sheets. So we do not throw this away. We use those on the toner sheets. I'm going to cut this down now to five and a quarter by four. Ooh, those are really pretty. Oh, yeah. That looks good with the green. That looks really good. Okay, and then we have our sentiments we did. So this is a pretty simple but easy to put together card. I do want to grab one of those bigger sentiments because I want that on the outside and I like doing those. <gasps> Look at how good that foiled. You guys, that's like perfect. You see that? This is why Dusty Dusty matters. Beautiful. And then I can save this and use it on a colored toner sheet as well. Okay, let's look at this one. Happy fall, y'all. I love that saying. I love that saying. Okay, we're gonna put these aside. I do wanna do the sentiments. And you don't have to foil them. Keep that in mind, you guys. You can use these like this and just color them in. Yeah, of course, the foiling gives it a little extra pizzazz, a little extra blingy bling. I like this one. Where's my dies at? I think I'll do that one. And I have one larger. We're going to cut the center out of this. Let me turn my mink back on. Although it doesn't take long for the mink. Okay, so let's die cut these. So I'm going to cut this right out of the center. That will be the, um, the matte layer for our little pumpkin. Okay, that cut through just fine. And then when you're cutting on your foil sheets like this, I do recommend um, cutting the section you want out with scissors first. If I just run this through, I risk this getting imprinted on by my die cutting plates. So I'm just going to cut around this. I know that's not exactly neat, but... That way I don't risk any of these getting scratched or damaged by my die cutting plates, which can happen. And 
and that die cut perfectly. And we're gonna we're gonna foil it and then we're gonna color it. Always foil first, color it second, and if this were a solid sheet, I would foil it first, die cut it second. So this one, I mean, really, if, even if I foiled it, it would just be the out, outside lines. I think if we foiled it in orange, we're going to lose some of that dimension. I don't really want to foil it now. <laughs> but I'm going to because this wouldn't be foiling without foiling everything, right? But I honestly would think uh, leaving that by alone is probably best. But we're going to foil it. Then we're going to color it. Then we're going to put all this together. Or I'd foil it in black foil or green foil, something dark. Dusty, dusty. I'm gonna feed that through the mink. While that's going through, we can start to assemble this. We're going to do our matte layer first. Then we're going to add our pumpkins. And again, if you're going to do this with your laminator, let your laminator heat up for 30 minutes and just use a little piece of, of uh, folded copy paper or parchment paper before you run it through. Okay, we have our mat for our pumpkin. So you don't even need to color anything. Perfect. So cute. So adorable. Put that on there. And then I think we'll put this. Should we put this on the inside? Ooh, I kind of like it offset like that. Okay, we'll save that. So let's color this. Now I'm just going to do some really quick coloring with some Copics alcohol markers. Nothing too fancy. So this is YR14. Like a really light orange and you can color right over the foil it doesn't hurt it why are 16 This is YR7. See, nothing too difficult or fan super fancy there. Okay, 
Those are our oranges. Add a dark green stem, G28. Y17. E57. That's it. Really easy. You could go and color your leaves in the background too, but I don't think it needs that. You know what? Do I have some twine? I'm going to add a little bit of natural twine to this. Just a big, messy bunch of twine. So that some of that pokes out behind our pumpkin. That adhesive will hold it in place. Yeah, that's not bad. Give it a little bit of texture. I'm going to put little foam dots behind this so it stands up. Look at that. How fun is that? All right. So go check this out. Again, this is the August foiling kit from Pink and Main. You're going to get this fabulous fall foilable kit. You can see there's plenty in there to make a lot of cards. And you're going to want to keep these stored in the original um, bag. And then also you will get the fall sentiments, which you're going to get the... Um, the font as printed and as scripty and then you're going to get the regular foil and the reverse foil so that's really cool that you get all of that and then you're going to get a roll of the orange sparkle orange cheer foil 
All right. If you had fun watching me make this card, please give this video a thumbs up. I'll put the links down below if you're interested in getting anything. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on foiling. Bye.